Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another mount review. This is Chelsea Nail, Aston Villa Nail in the fourth round of the FA Cup. In this video, I'm going to go through my thoughts on the game and why I actually thought that it was a better performance for Chelsea than the scoreline suggests, as well as what we need to do in the new round of this in the next game that's going to be played at Villa Park uh, to get the win. Um, so side note for any of you tuning in that tuned in to my OBS stream, I'm recording, I'm back on StreamYard, <laughs> still need to fix it. So hopefully the quality of the stream is a little bit better. Thanks for putting up with me. And it's 11 o'clock at night. Like, I don't know how you guys stay up super late and wake up really early to watch the Chelsea games because I am struggling right now to keep my eyes open and stay awake. But I really wanted to make sure to get a match review out uh, right after the game. So taking a look at the starting 11, it really was more or less the starting 11 that I uh, expected. The only thing is that we did see at the very last minute that Alfie Gilchrist came in for uh, Levi Cowell. It seems that Cowell had a bit of an issue in the warm-up, and I was really impressed with him. The like tenacity that this young player and resilience that he has to be told that he's starting right before the game is about to start and then he's going to start at right back as well I just thought that it was it really spoke a lot um, about him and then for Badia Shield to go and cover the left back um I, I was really impressed that he just managed the change of plans so easily, so seam seamlessly, and I thought that he put in a solid performance and that um, he he looked strong in this match. And I think that it just speaks a lot as well to like Cobham talent because you just see that they really go the extra mile, that they're really trying their hardest. And he just has this it factor that I really, really like. So I think that he's definitely somebody to watch and keep our eye out for in the future. In terms of the game as a whole, I thought that Chelsea played really quite well. I feel that we've seen a lot of progress and that the team that Poch coached looked well drilled and it just felt like yet again we couldn't get the ball in the back of the net but positive things that I've seen was the link up play I felt that we were moving the ball really fast especially coming out of the second half I felt that we were just like really progressing the ball we were pressing high which was forcing mistakes from Villa they obviously play high line as well so we were able to take advantage of that a bit uh, and create opportunities I felt that the the players just look like they have a little bit more confidence about them that's the thing with these young players like if once you start getting together some wins once you start putting in good performances like it the momentum is going to build and so that's why I've been like screaming from the rooftops to be patient with this young side because I think that there are a lot of positives that we can draw and a lot of things to build off of but it's going to take time and I feel like we're finally starting to see like the pieces come together which I'm excited about as well. Cole Palmer had a number of opportunities, both in the first and second half. You really felt that Chelsea could have scored two, three, even four goals between Cole Palmer's opportunities, Madueke's opportunities. It just shows that we need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. It's a bit surprising because Cole Palmer, I feel like, is generally pretty cool and collected in front of goal. But now we've seen twice recently at Middlesbrough Way and today that he just looked a little bit off of it and perhaps i'm just speculating here perhaps it's the fatigue as well chelsea obviously just played versus middlesbrough i think it was tuesday night so they've had two days to rest uh which is absolutely insane as well so maybe he was just a little bit fatigued physically and mentally but it just looked like his shots didn't have so much power behind them as we would expect from a cole palmer or the placement either does it help that Emmy Martinez always becomes like the best goalkeeper ever? For what it's worth, I think he's a fantastic goalkeeper. Obviously, what he did for Argentina in the World Cup was phenomenal. And I think that he's a 
one of the best goalkeepers in the league at the moment but for some reason versus Chelsea he always turns into an absolute monster it's like he has like this other sense versus Chelsea and he really sniffs out the ball and makes these saves that you would think maybe if it wasn't Chelsea like that would have gone in but I just felt like Chelsea did have the opportunity so that is definitely a positive um from from us so the thing that was worrying me in this match was that Chelsea did have so many opportunities and then towards like the 70th minute or so it just felt like we were kind of fading from the game it felt like we really looked fatigued and I honestly thought that Villa were going to steal a late winner in this match and so I think Given the fact that Chelsea have just played, that we put in a massive performance versus Middlesbrough, um, I am happy with the performance that we've put in today, and I think we've seen a lot of growth. Aston Villa, I think they're currently fourth in the Premier League table, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I just double-checked. They're currently fourth in the Premier League. They've obviously been having an incredible season under Unai Emery, and so for us to go and in my opinion, dominate them in the way that we did um, shows a lot of growth in the team. And the fact that also we didn't concede in the last 20 minutes that we kept our heads and defended for our lives. I thought that that was really good. There was a moment in like the last minute or so of the game where Villa had a corner and I was like, oh gosh, because we've just been so poor at defending corners and just set pieces in general. And uh, Cole Palmer defended it and made sure that he defended the ball so that it was a goal kick. Um, so that those little types of like, tricks and just like that mentality I think is really important I do think that Villa they did they did have a couple of opportunities Douglas Luis I felt like had quite a few opportunities Ollie Watkins had one and I think it was Watkins that forced a really really nice save from Petrovic and he's been looking pretty strong as well personally for me I would continue starting him even when Sanchez is fit I think that he's been looking a bit more confident a bit, a bit more assured in front of goal and those types of saves like those that save saved us the possibility of going to the next round of the FA Cup and that's absolutely massive and I feel like he's really been impressive in the short amount of time that I've seen him and Chelsea could potentially have a gem in him as well so those are my overarching thoughts about the match. Pretty good match. Like, sucks that we couldn't um, convert, but we're looking better. And that's what I want to take from Chelsea, especially the fact that we have, we're playing so many games in such a short period of time. Like, you're bound to get tired and fatigued. I know that I am <laughs> after watching, and I was just watching. Um, Another shout out before we head out. I thought that Madueke actually did well. I thought that he had a lot of take ons and he was looking like pretty dynamic and creative on that right hand side. Just the finishing needs a little bit of work, but I think that he's, you know, still raw product, but he's showing positive signs as well. So guys, hope that you enjoyed this match review. Um, let me know what else you want me to see from the channel. Again, I'm going to work to try to set up OBS so that I can get some more cool features in for you guys and just up the level in general on the channel. And hopefully next time I upload in, it syncs with my voice, but no promises. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope that you guys have a great rest of your day, evening, whatever time you're watching this. And until next time, I'm out. Bye.